Uh, let's get into the news. I don't know if you guys saw this, but late yesterday, President Trump tweeted out a campaign video created by a supporter that was featuring music from the 2012 Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. If you didn't see it, have a look. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> the closest Trump gets to being Batman is that most of the guys at his rallies are named Bruce and Wayne. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> Donald Trump isn't anything like Batman. Batman actually was a billionaire. <laughs> this, now, this video took the internet by storm yesterday. It got over two million hits, but the part that really seemed to grab people's attention was this opening. <laughs> now... <laughs> I want to say, just to be clear, we never stopped laughing at you. <laughs> we didn't. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they call you racist. This sounds like what Trump would say to Eric and Donald Jr. to teach them how to know when a girl likes you. <laughs> but the... <laughs> the video wasn't up for long. Warner Brothers Pictures immediately filed a copyright claim for using the music without permission and had the video taken down. Yeah, not so much fun when someone else protects their borders, is it? <laughs> but... <laughs> So... <laughs> the video was taken down because it used music without permission, but don't worry, Trump immediately uploaded a version with new music. <laughs> In other <laughs> Trump news... According to a new article, the president took a guided tour of George Washington's Mount Vernon estate and, during the tour, criticised Washington by saying this, ''If he was smart, he would have put his name on it. You've got to put your name on stuff or no-one remembers you.'' <laughs> Trump then left Mount Vernon and went back to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Moving on, police in Oregon res recently responded to a potential burglary in progress after a woman reported seeing shadows of someone in her house. Police arrived only to find the suspect was actually a Roomba trapped in her bathroom. <laughs> now, listen, when you legalise weed in your state, <laughs> you're gonna get a few Roomba burglar incidents, you know? It's quite an endorsement for Roomba, though. It's so quiet, you don't notice it until you think it's robbing your house. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> they took the Roomba into custody, and I've got to say, the floors in the Oregon State Prison have never been cleaner. <laughs> and finally, a town in Indiana with the population of three people is currently for sale for $3.8 million. Three people. That's not a town, that's barely a household. <laughs> Buying the town includes a historic general store, farmland, a grain mill, barns and cabins, plus you'll get to immediately start living in the plot of a horror movie. <laughs> you, can, you can buy a town that actually has three people currently living in it. It's all on the new Bravo series, Million Dollar Listing, Bob. <laughs>